If I walked up to you and said, quick, what's this? Is it a bottle? It's a drink out of it. Hello? No, no, he's not here right now. I'd bet your first guess would be wrong. That's because this is the Quick Draw Ultra Portable Click Chair. And in today's video, I'm gonna tell you about my five year experience with this chair and why I think it might be a good option for some of you travelers out there. So about five years ago, my family and I went from living in a large fifth wheel type camper with two bathrooms, a bunk house, and a big giant kitchen to living in a house and traveling on a more temporary basis. So we went down to a much smaller drivable class C RV where space was at a premium. So when we transitioned rigs, we knew that we had to cut weight and also cut storage size for a lot of the necessities you need when you're out there camping and RVing. And the first place we looked was in the storage compartment itself. Things like giant bag chairs. We had five bag chairs that took up a lot of space and we needed a solution that was compact, was portable, but was also comfortable enough for us to sit in night in and night out. So we ended up finding the click chair. Albeit a little more expensive than traditional camp chairs, we found these to be the smallest, the most durable, and the most comfortable camping chairs we could find. In fact, Click often calls these the bottle chairs, and at the time they were running a promotion where the more chairs you bought, the better deal you got, and so we ended up with six of these chairs and a carrying bag, and we have quite literally drugged these chairs all over the country with us. Now that we're not traveling full time or even going out for two or three months at a time, we leave these in the back of our RV at all times. So no matter where we are, at a soccer game, at a football game, at a golf match, we are never without a place to sit. So today, not only am I gonna tell you about the features of these chairs, I'm gonna tell you how they've held up over the last five years of use, how we've abused these, and how they've come out on the other end. As always, I've put a link to these chairs in the description below. If you use that link when purchasing, it simply helps to support the channel, so thank you in advance for that, and no, this is not a paid review. All right, let's jump into the features of the chair, but before we do that, as I hold this bag up, I'd ask you, how many chairs do you think are in here? Well, uh, if you guessed four, then you're correct. So with our package of six that we put together, we ended up with two travel bags. These aren't the best travel bags. The chairs fit in there nicely. You could throw them about in about anything, but there's nothing special about these bags. In fact, they're a little on the lightweight, flimsy side, although we've never ripped one or broken one so far. So I guess that says something about the bag itself. One of the things we like about the chairs, other than the fact that they're extremely light and small, is the fact that they open up quickly. And even our 10-year-old can do this. In fact, when he was six, he could do this. Uh, very easy. All you have to do is unvelcro the strap, flip it inside out, and pull all of the tension arms that will support the four corners completely out so that the little nubs snap into place uh, through the holes. It's actually pretty easy, and within, I don't know, 10 seconds, you're ready to set down. Now, one of the things I appreciate about the chairs the most is the relaxed sitting position. It makes it comfortable enough to sit in for, like I said, a soccer game that might last an hour plus, uh, or sitting by the campfire for a few hours at a time. You're kind of leaning back. You can relax in them. You're not sitting straight up or stiff. There's not a lot of tension on your backside or your legs. Um, you know, I would recommend getting up and moving every, you know, 20, 30 minutes or so, but it's a pretty comfortable chair overall. I weigh about 190 pounds. I'm six feet tall. So you can see how I fit into the chair with no issues and uh, I really find them to be pretty comfortable for everybody from our 10 year old who's about five feet tall to myself uh, who's a foot taller and weighs uh, 150 pounds more. The material that the chairs are made out of is kind of a lightweight tent type material. There's a see-through mesh for ventilation near your back and then near your legs again. Uh, it's got a nice sturdy strap that like I showed in the beginning is going to be what you wrap around the chair itself to hold its form. The feet of the chairs are nice solid rubber. It gives you a good footing to set on if you're on a hard surface like concrete or blacktop. And yet the way that they're made, they don't sink into the ground very easily if you're in soft grass or sod. When you're putting the chairs away, it's pretty easy. All you do is press the release buttons just like you would on a, an extendable pole for a tent or anything else. And the arms of the chair go back into themselves. They telescope in as easy as they telescope out. Once you have all four in, you hit the center button below the legs and everything collapses inside out on itself and you simply wrap your Velcro strap around and secure uh, to your satisfaction. 
Now let's talk about durability. How have these things held up over four or five years of consistent use, camping use, which can sometimes be harder on equipment because you're throwing them in and out all the time when you're moving. Sometimes you're leaving chairs outside overnight, dew is on them. Uh, and I can say first and foremost about the finish that we have absolutely no rust and all of the finishes have held up really well. This one specifically has some, maybe some marring where somebody dropped it on concrete or something like that, but it's in overall really good condition. In fact, the only point of failure that I've had on any of the chairs, we have six of them, is a little hinge pin right here on one of the arms. And I honestly don't even know how it happened. One day I went to put them in a bag and one arm was just dangling. Um, so I contacted Click and I said, hey, can I get a new little pin for this? And they said, absolutely. Just send us the, um, the proof of purchase and Honestly, I went back to look for the email and just forgot. We were then getting ready to leave for a trip, so I thought, I know how to fix this. I went to Home Depot, I found a lock washer and just a nut, got the right size bolt, put it in there, and voila, it worked perfectly, has never moved the chair functions exactly the way it did before, and it cost me about 37 cents to fix. So I can say that these parts, while Click will replace them for you. You could go out to a hardware store and if one of these pins comes out, you could actually replace it yourself. It's, it's no big deal, but with six chairs, only one point in these arms. So we've got four arms per chair and then we have six chairs and that's 24 uh, total arms. And I think that's a pretty good percentage over five years, only one issue in that entire time. The only real gripe I have with these chairs is the price. They're a little on the expensive side, but when you're looking for something that needs to be small, when you need to have it fit in a certain space, it's worth paying a premium, especially if it lasts over time. If I do the math on how many chairs we would have gone through in a five year period or what we would have had to done to make that work, I think that these have more than paid for themselves or at least paid off in owning six of them. I don't have any problem with it looking back knowing that we're probably gonna get another five years out of these. I think in the long run it's probably worth it, but that can be a con if you're looking to go and do something on a smaller budget. So when it's all said and done, I believe I can safely recommend the original click chairs to you if you need something small, quick, and durable to throw in a backpack, the back of a car, or a small camper or RV. I believe you'll be glad that you did because when it comes to traveling, things that make your life more convenient, things that make your trips better, are always worth it in the long run. Hey, thanks for watching today's video. If you have any questions at all about these products or others you'd like to see me review, leave me a comment down below. I would be happy to do that and I read every single comment. Until next time, thank you for watching. My name is Joel. This is the Traveler Toolkit and I'll see you in the next video.